Hey guys, so I'm back. I'm sorry. I put up a video earlier and oh my God, it was like zoomed in into my face and you know, I'm so insecure about, anyway, my skin and stuff, I'm working on it, but the camera just made it look way worse. And I was just like, ah, I gotta take that down, I can't show that. So I'm gonna try to be careful not to get in this video, but I wanted, always wanted to try him on this little rumper anyway. Um, so I'm gonna try him on this rumper. It's uh, 24 months, so it, it looks really big though. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get him on that and see how it goes. I don't even have a matching bottom to it. And I know that sounds crazy, but I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. And this is always awkward for me because I'm always trying not to like block the lighting and all that great jazz um by the way guys if you're new to my channel and you have not subscribed go ahead and smash that subscribe button and don't forget to give us a thumbs up this is phoenix poo he is the limb sculpt by bonnie brown and um i actually had his body custom made so i made my my limb a bigger boy because i just saw him as an older baby and i thought if he had a bigger body it would do better for him and i absolutely love him with his bigger body um he's wearing a size six honest diaper um so the all white i love all white diapers on my babies so that's that and i also as i mentioned in the other videos of those that didn't get a chance to catch it um one thing i do love about um the The toddlers and stuff like that like you could like do a lot of role play with them and stuff like that but um that's not what i was going to tell you guys i was going to tell you guys that with the toddlers you have to make sure you weight them correctly and that's like a challenge for me because i always like my baby's very floppy but i wanted him to be where he's still a cuddle baby like when i pick him up his head falls on my um shoulder like a real baby would but at the same time he could sit up unassisted and be able to you know hold his head up and not flop up so he i did manage to get that accomplished um but you know sometimes it's like a balancing act for me um trying not to for he, him not to be falling over and all that stuff um or his head not leaning downward and stuff like that so like I said, he has an accustomed body and I did make his body longer. What do you got on your face, boy? Um, I did make his, his body longer um, because I wanted him to be this specific size. So I measured it and everything. So his body was very specific to him um, width wise, length wise, everything with him was very, uh, pre-calculated if that's the word to use for him for that but um yeah so i i actually do have another limb sculpt here to paint and i was thinking about making him another brother um different skin tone you know different hairstyle um i really like this sculpt as a boy but i have seen a couple people pull it off as a girl and that was like amazing to me because it seems like when somebody do pull it off as a girl they be like extremely pretty um sensane babies um cassandra she has um iris that's a girl and she is really cute as a girl um so sensane you can go ahead and send her over to me we'll we'll take good care of her no <laughs> um yeah um but no i know she's not sending her over if anything she'll tell me to send phoenix so so yeah but um phoenix has allergies a couple of his aunts has asked for him to come visit them at their house but he has allergies and so you know sometimes he struggle you know he's a very nasally baby okay maybe i shouldn't have put this oh this was not a smart idea phoenix how did i put this on you i should have put it over his head and then went down but i was trying to be you know i don't want to rub it down his head so 
all right so we're gonna lay him down like this and again i'm just trying to make sure i don't get in the camera child because listen but i felt like i owed y'all a toddler video since i took that one down and i also was mentioning in there a lot of people been asking me to do private orders or customs um as far as with um the oh, i was trying to look at stone as far as with uh silicone and I am still not wanting to do customs or private orders, but I did want you guys to know that I am planning on painting. <laughs> this is too hard for me. Oh my God, this is why I don't like changing them on camera. But um, yeah, but I do plan, I, I am expecting some kits. I am going to be working on some babies for buy it now babies, a few silicone babies. Um, my main focus, I told you guys, is going to be reborns. But I did change up because a lot of people was asking me about the silicones and decided I will paint a few as buy it now. I um, prefer just to just paint them and then root them. And you guys, I might show them before they get rooted um, just to give people... You know time enough to decide if they really want it but i'll probably um you know just paint in silence and then just um put the babies up for sale so you know if somebody want a baby painted by me um just hang tight be a little patient with me i am working on it i promise I just want to be able to do my best and not just, you know, anything. But, so he did put the 24 month. I do need to, I'm going to put his, um, it's all bundled up. But these are his um, sandals. This is kind of like, yeah. All right. So he got these little sandals and the sandals, of course, Let's see. It's his little feet. And his sandals would actually fit him really cute. But he do need pants on. But child, I don't know where his, like, if he got, he don't really, he don't really have clothes. I'm being honest. He really don't have clothes. A lot of his stuff is just, like, pajamas. Because I mostly, like, I mostly put him on pajamas. So, he doesn't have a lot of clothes. So I kind of just have to, I need to shop for him. I know I said I was going to, but every time I go in the store, it's like baby stuff. You know, I know a lot of people be like, oh, they always, the boys, I mean, the, um, um, that it's fun to dress the toddlers, but it's not for me. And that is so corny. Girl, if you don't take those samples off, making him look like a plum fool, that is not it. But yeah, he just need, he needs on some cute shorts or jeans with this. And he got some jeans, actually, that he can put on. But I will have to put them on tights before I put them on the jeans. But yeah, that's my little man. Like, he is, he is the baby that I actually just take around the house all the time. I actually was just listening to um, a video Birdie Babies was doing. On a tag and she was saying she changed her babies out from time to time of who's sleeping where and this and other and for the most part i kind of do the same thing even in the nursery the babies are never in the same spot and it's just because i just you know i like to see them pose i don't have time to really sit and hold my babies as much but occasionally i do pick up a baby that's why i like for them to be weighted good and i like for them to feel nice and stuff so Waiting is important to me because I do pick them up occasionally, but mostly I do love to just like see them all around the rooms, all around the house when I can. But really, in my main part of my house, like downstairs and stuff, the only baby that you're going to see most of the time is going to be Phoenix. You probably won't see any of the other ones down there as much. Every now and then I might lay one on, you know, lay a receiving blanket or a blanket on the sofa and lay one of the babies on the sofa, but... Normally, it's just for me to see if they look real. Like, when I walk into that room, do it, like, 
make me jump a little bit or do I just instantly just remember it's a doll over there um that's just usually my thing I'll get a little closer to him um so he got little teeth at the bottom and he has his little gums but yeah that's you know that's my thing I'm not really much of a toddler person but I do want um to do my Mili or Meili or whatever Ping Lao toddler I do want that toddler as a girl and I do want probably one more toddler maybe I'm, I want to paint the lamb one more time at least um and you know other than that I do like the babies of all different sizes but I've been really really like enjoying um like this three to six month size and Memphis is really like the perfect size baby for me and I've just really been enjoying him so that's that's pretty cool but normally for the most part you're gonna see in my collection is the little tiny babies I love my little tiny babies um I guess I don't know I just love my babies and then sleepers I'm into sleepers most of my babies are sleep, 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 sleep. Occasionally, I'll find an awake baby. And when I find an awake baby, it's got to be something special about that baby because I don't typically, you know, have awake babies. But let me see if you can get into his mouth. I love the way his inside his... Let's see. And you can't really see it on camera. But the way that I painted inside his mouth, it looks like he got a little saliva around his, um, <laughs> like when the light hit it certain ways, it looked like his mouth was like wet, like there's saliva in his mouth. Um, so it's pretty cool. Um, I just love this sculpt. Um, I think Bonnie Brown did a slam job on, um, a great job on capturing realism in a toddler because that's very rare and hard to find. I don't know about y'all, but I a lot of times when I see toddlers, they just give me that whole, I'm a really nice Walmart doll or just dolly dolly. Um, even if they're nicely painted, it just looks like that's a beautiful doll. Like it's not, ooh, that one look real type thing. It's like, oh, that's a pretty doll. I want to brush through her hair, you know, type thing. And that's, it, you know... A lot of it has to do with the sculpt. Sometimes it has to do with the painting, but toddlers are hard. Toddlers are very hard, very hard to paint, to make them look real, very hard to find a sculpt that looks real. So, um, Laura Tudor Ross have a toddler that's coming out soon. I'm definitely looking forward to that toddler because for one, it should be in regular vinyl and I personally just prefer to paint regular vinyl than journal German vinyl. So I'm excited about that. I'll be glad when that one come out and give it a try. Um, that one does not tend to have a lot of um, African-American features to it, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, just like any of these sculpts, you can kind of paint it to look how you want it to look and stuff like that. But I just I just think it's, it's a cute, a really cute toddler and I'm looking forward to painting that one and you know just hoping other toddlers come out that's not in German vinyl but I do want a pink loud baby and all her kits are pretty much in German vinyl far as I know and so that's that's the challenge there for me but I am challenging myself to learn to paint this vinyl and if this little girl look like a little Frankenstein or all spotted or something or something go wrong with her listen honey I'm taking her eyes. I'm taking her eyes. I'm like, she's not finna get those glass eyes. I'm gonna put her some plastic eyes on her head and I'm gonna donate her to some little child. If, and oh, and then on top of it, I gotta figure out how to put the freaking strings in it. I'm like, God, shoop a doop a doop let me try not to say bad words. But I'm like, okay, so the vinyl gotta be complicated and it's gotta have strings. You gotta. Figure out how to put it together. Like, this is... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go on that rant. I know y'all don't like when people do stuff like that and talk about stuff. Y'all be like, that's my favorite sculpt. I love her work. The sculpting is beautiful. But couldn't we just let it be a little less... <laughs> less complicated? Oh, my gosh. Anyway. So, that's Phoenix Pooh. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.